So, hello and welcome back to another episode of the self Development with Tactics podcast. This is uh, probably going to be a rather quick one, therefore, um, once again, uh, Reddit, I would argue. And here we... I overcome my dopamine addiction. Everything is interesting now. I posted here about my journey, staying away from Facebook, Instagram, E2C. The social media was just a one side. It is like a hydra with thousand heads. It is dopamine addiction. Stop smoking. Okay, let's play video games for eight hours straight. Decided to stop playing games. Okay, go for porn. No porn and fab. Sugar. No sugar. Gambling. No gambling. Instagram. So I told myself, stay the fuck away from dopamine. It was an addiction. It was really hard, but I overcome these cravings. After two weeks, I felt the results. Now, after more than six months, everything is interesting. Cooking, interesting, learning a new skill, interesting, go to the woods, interesting. Even cleaning my room, preparing clothes is interesting. Actually, um, very inspiring and um, I appreciate it such a lot that this person pointed out that it is not only due to social media because this is also what I think, you know, it's also my opinion. I think that uh, social media gets demonized so much, it's, 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 you know, quite an insane thing. And very unfortunate, to be honest, because it is not entirely bad. You know, it is always up to how you use it. And also, I think, your own capabilities of dealing with things, you know. Because I think it is just a power that not everyone can handle, you know. Because, of course, you're always connected. Of course, people can always text you and so on and so forth. Like, it is difficult. And I understand that it is difficult for people to to deal with it and well it, it might also be me even though I think that I'm handling it quite well uh, even if I'm actually a pretty prominent and, and also using things dominantly and um, well compared to the quote-unquote regular person but it also depends on how you use it you know I'm just actually not on social media that much most often on TikTok to be honest but um, not 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 that much actually you know it's um rather it is the case that i just use different software and other things to to post on these channels and to post on these sites and platforms and um that is quite it you know and then of course you know one should do some research which i'm basically not necessarily doing but uh, yeah you know i also don't feel like okay why i Why am I not such a person, you know? Why is this person so jacked and I am not? Of course, you know, it it gets me inspired and also I get a ton of inspiration for designs and um, design projects in general. But but yeah, I just really appreciate that this person pointed out that social media is just one side. It is just one part of the whole thing. It's just one facet of life, but... um, many 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 more things and what i have seen yesterday actually was it yesterday yeah it's been yesterday i'm having such a a, well quote-unquote dopamine addiction as well uh in terms of a ton of things just really do not feel interesting for me like the majority of things and this is indeed something that i've struggled with and I came to realize that it might be due to um, overstimulation of myself you know due to maybe playing games as a child ton of video games and you know watching a ton of YouTube videos and you know actually sitting in front of my computer quite a lot but I get a ton of pleasure out of cycling but most often when it is on some routes that you know may or may not be that smart to uh well take relatively dangerous uh pretty steep you know pretty uh, high declines of altitude or fast declines of altitude me being actually pretty fast without any fucking protection which i should actually really work on and use because um sometimes i feel like when i fall off of my bike it is really gonna hurt and the possibility of me just you know breaking something or uh, hurting myself to such a degree that I might actually not be capable of riding my bike the next day or the, the following day or whatnot you know they are relatively high unfortunately because I like riding my bike which 
may or may not be due to my, well, overstimulation. It's just a stimulation as well, you know. Uh, you see many things. This is also one of the reasons why I do not necessarily like walking. It kind of feels slow for me. And um, I'm not seeing as many things as I see when I'm, you know, riding my bike. But uh, yeah, it might be due to that. I would actually have to do a bit of research on that to, to figure things out exactly and understand things completely. I heavily advise reading The Greats in a Candlelit Hot Bath. I'm currently reading Epictetus' courses and selected writings in a candlelit bath. The experience is that of beauty, something I would highly recommend to those looking to meditate. I like the suggestion, you know, and this might lead you to think about how you do things rather than what you do. And also uh, changing the way how you do things. Like, um, I might be recording in a different setting tomorrow. I might be... Um, just using a different design language the next time, and so on and so forth. I think um, uh, it's it's good to change up things. You know, it, it makes life interesting, and it's the whole process of whatever you're doing in life more interesting. If you change things up, and maybe you'll actually discover a way in which you're you're going to be even more productive or efficient or effective or whatever it may be. A well-built physique is a status symbol. It reflects you worked hard for it. No money can buy it. You cannot borrow it. You cannot inherit it. You cannot steal it. You cannot hold on to it without constant work. It shows discipline. It shows self-respect. It shows patience, work ethic, and passion. That is why I do what I do. And in a very, very... Well, this is actually Arnold Arnold Schwarzenegger, uh, a fellow Austrian. I would say so as well. The problem that I'm having with the whole fitness industry and, you know, working out and then looking good and, you know, quote unquote, being strong, which, you know, may or may not be the truth, then I, for example, I am not really strong. I, in, in good lighting, look quite decent at this point, which I'm actually pretty happy about. But, um, well, I'm not the strongest. I really am not. You know, this is definitely something that I could work on, should work on, I don't know. Like it's, it's also due to genetics. I have always been relatively skinny, light. Um, and yes, power is mass times time. No, mass divided by time times two or something. No, mass times velocity uh, times two divided by time or something. I've read it uh, relatively late. This is why I know it. You know. So my point was, the whole problem that I'm having with the whole fitness industry thing is that if you only think about your physique, you are not going to progress in any other level in fucking life. And having a great physique is, is great and well. And, you know, for these reasons as well, like I can understand it. But I mean, you can be jacked, but still fucking poor, which, you know, I don't want to say that being poor is is, is bad and um, so on and so forth, but you know, balance, balance in life. And I, I'm always in extremes. I like to be in extremes. Either I'm just moving as much as I can, or I'm laying in bed because I cannot do more moving. You know, physically not able to do so, which is not good, by the way. You know, because you know this is just it just shows that. There is no balance in my life and also just in various different facets of my life. There is no balance, really no fucking balance. So the thing is, um, ha be healthy, but do not, this would actually be my advice, unless you're making money with it, unless this is your complete dream and you can see a life that um, that is foundationed by a great physique, which, you know, might be being an athlete, might also be just being an influencer, whatever it may be. But I think for most people, it is good to be healthy and having a body that supports you throughout your day, you know, so that you're not getting tired, that you just, you know, 
can handle and lift things that you need to be lifting and so on and so forth without hurting yourself. So longevity wise, it makes sense to do sports. It's also very important, also good for your head uh, because of learning and whatnot, like their studies. But uh, obsessing over it and uh, letting this be just the main part of your life, which might actually as well kind of limit the amount that you can spend with people, is dumb and nonsensical to some degree. You know, very complicated, but I hope you know what I mean. Is 26 too late to reset your life? No, it isn't. I'm not even going to read anything else there. Uh, it's just not. I know it's fine. How is this style called? Originally from the IKEA festival of 2021. Typography. Looks decent. The thing with design that is uh, having a lot of elements is creating it in a way that makes it feel good. And this for me feels good. It feels well crafted. It feels like nothing is off, nothing is just um, present in a way that I, um, well, that, that, that hurts or, or feels wrong. And this is, at least in my point of view, a major part of design. You know, does something feel wrong or does something feel right? And I would argue that most people can say, yes, this feels wrong or this feels right, period. You know? Anyway, this is it. I am making the first short film. Hello, all. I have been betting depression and just a high school graduate. As I, I always go through this loop of overthinking and end up doing nothing. Um, yes, just, you know, make a short film. Good idea. I had too much to drink last night and punched my girlfriend. Fucked up situation. I was nothing but screaming and throwing things all night. I haven't had an episode like this in a year. She said something that completely got me. So then I punched her in the arm. I don't like being like this. What can I do to make sure this doesn't happen? How do I talk to her after last night? Um, I might be doing an episode on that as well. Which is very personal. I do have also genetically wise, but I do have a past of, um, well, violence, quite, and violence against people that I loved, loved from the bottom of my heart. And this is very problematical. I would say that um, talking to a therapist is always going to be great because this person can show you what's the root cause of your actions are. Um, this is also one of the reasons why I have understood and know that I'm always living in extremes because of a therapist. And um, might also be due to your history, you know, your family history, you know, something happened that you may or may not actually know. And just understanding it and knowing it is one of the first steps to take to just get along with it. I do not necessarily want to say that you can reverse it and you can just, you know, uh, kind of magically uh, pull it away and then just, you know, don't have any aggression anymore. But handling it, I think, is a great step and, and being ab able to, to handle it and um, being able to notice it as well, which I think is, um, well, therefore, is meditation quite great because you're able to notice feelings and notice notions and, and kind of hints that can lead you to just saying, well, please back up a bit. I, I just feel something. I, I do not want to say anything or do anything that I'm going to regret later. Uh, can I please just have a bit of time for me to calm down and, and, and be okay? Can you give me a hug? For example, might be the thing. And... Um, this should work. Well, I don't say should. This could work very well. Um, sometimes not. Also made the experience that that it does not. But uh, you know, talking openly about it and and your feelings and um, the reasons why I did that, while being extremely honest to yourself after this episode is important and also understanding when this person needs a bit of time off and a pause you know when it is about a relationship um, might also be um, just coming to an end it is well it happens and you have to deal with it in 
any possible way. And now it is not necessarily about you and being like, okay, you know, uh, I do have problems and, you know, please forgive me or whatnot. No, it's actually about the other person, you know. This other person now has just, you know, some leverage and this is fine as well and you have to deal with it and might also be about trust, you know, being able to trust a person that hit you. Like, it's a very difficult situation and um, one needs to really work on it and I as well really need to uh, work on it as well. I've gotten much better, but... I think being able to hand things, situations, very difficult situations, in calm ways, this is incredible. And this is an incredible skill that is always going to be great. Especially for people like me that tends to be quite aggressive and tends to be quite um, just explosive as well. Anyway, um, one last thing, I guess. This is what I've learned my first day on a two-year personal development journey. Decided to do something with your... I'm sorry, to decide to do something with your life. Have the mindset that regardless of the outcome, you will be a better person. Make a decision to start. Overcome idea of judgment. Use what you have. Get over the idea of perfectionism. Make your bet. Small wins give you more willpower. Create a log. Find problems and fix them immediately. The whole log thing. I should actually do that. I really should. I tend to forget things um, just solely due to the reason that I want to forget them. But I think it makes sense to write down things and um, things that, that piss you off, things that you should be working on so that you also work on them. You know, Do not forget about that or procrastinate or whatnot. But yeah, and the last thing is learn from experts. Well, there's actually a few more, but I need to end the episode now. So I see you hopefully soon. And wish you the best. Please stay safe and healthy and um, bye-bye.